when the Argentine and Poland fixtures come out, um, I said to Martinez straight away, "Get me that shirt." Oh, so uh, you had the plug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like and it. To be fair, yeah. I didn't have a time. I didn't have a chance to speak to him when we were at the World Cup, obviously, because he had games. And then after the game, he come up to me and said, "I've got you a present." So I was like, all right. And I was semi thinking, what is it? He just said, come in the changing room and follow me. So I followed him and he had a bag and it had Messi's shirt in it, yeah. When you were lining up uh, at the time in the World Cup, um, were you able to take it all in? What was like, do you have to pin yourself? Is it, I'm in, I'm in the World Cup, I'm at the World Cup. Mm. Yeah, people, like, I've had a lot of, a lot of questions like that. Um, and sort of when you're there, you, like it's hard to take in because you're like so focused on your job and obviously you get when you uh, the day after you play and obviously the week you sort of get a bit of time to yourself to relax but you're sort of in the moment you know what I mean it's sort of hard to take it in especially on game day like playing in a World Cup everyone's watching you just want to do well so the adrenaline and all that and all the obviously you get obviously get a little bit nervous as well um, you just try and do do your best on the pitch rather than taking everything in I wish you could take it all in, but yeah. it was hard to. And when you get back and you sort of speak about it, you obviously take it in and you've obviously played in a major tournament. So that's when you take it in, yeah. Mm. I was at the Argentina-Poland game. Oh, were you there? Yeah, I was at that game. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was brilliant. Tough day, that. <laughs> <laughs> Tough day, but ultimately ended in triumph. Yeah, yeah. For you. It yeah, was the, like, main, the main aim was to, to qualify. qualify. Yeah, actually. yeah, definitely. And we've done that, so. Did you think... Were you aware? Because I was in the stands and I think that in all of the football matches I've ever been to across the world, Argentina support. Oh, I've never known anything like yeah, it. Incredible. Were you aware of that on the pitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think before, before the game kicked off, like the stadium was pretty much full, full of yeah. like Argentine fans. Um, yeah, they were, I think they were probably the best fans in the tournament, I'd say, yeah, definitely. They were, obviously when we played against them, they've got the, the players they have and it made it even harder to play with the fans. So yeah, no wonder they went on yeah. to win it, yeah. <laughs> um, and of course, we've all seen on social media, you got the shirt of Mbappe, got uh, one of Messi as well. Mm. Firstly, why are they here? And why are they not here? <laughs> they're, they're getting framed. They're yeah. getting framed, are they? Yeah, getting framed. Okay, so. where, where are they going to be in, in, your, in your house? I'm not going to say that, just in case someone... <laughs> just, uh, fair <laughs> enough, yeah, yeah, yeah. Security <laughs> yeah. reasons, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Nah, nah, they'll be in the game from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, nah, yeah, looking forward to getting them framed and up, yeah. Yeah. How does it go getting a player like that? To talk? Like, how do you at the end of the game do you just go and have a conversation with Messi and ask for the shirt, or is it a race? Because presumably you weren't the only person on the pitch that wanted the Lionel Messi shirt. Now, nah, well, when the Messi, uh, when the Argentine and Poland fixtures come out, um, I said to Martinez straight away, "Get me that shirt." Oh, so uh, you had the plug. Yeah, yeah. I like and it. To be fair, yeah. I didn't have a time. I didn't have a chance to speak to him when we were at the World Cup, obviously, because he had games. And then after the game, he come up to me and said, I've got you a present. So I was like, all right. And I was semi thinking, what is it? He just said, come in the changing room and follow me. So I followed him and he had a bag and it had Messi's shirt in it. Yeah, oh, that's yeah so, so that was good. And then um, the Mbappe one, I just said to him towards the end of the game, like the 90th minute, the ball went out and I just said, can I get your shirt after? He said, yeah, bro, no worries, yeah. So then after they, he went off and celebrated or whatever, and I thought, oh, I'm just going to leave it. And then he come up to me in the tunnel and took it off, yeah. Oh, man, so yeah. he remembered it. And yeah, 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 he remembered. To be you fair. got in early then, so you got in before the full-time whistle. That's yeah, smart. but we, like, we were like <laughs> walking, I was just walking off. I weren't going to bother yeah. asking again. Mm. I just thought, that's yeah. it. And then he, cut, he like semi-jogged over to me and just took it off. And I was like, sound. Yeah, <laughs> gentlemen. Yeah, I know, yeah. Do you have a big Legend. collection at home or? Yeah, I've got a collection, yeah. I've got yeah. a few good ones, yeah. i got um, Memphis Depay when we played Holland. Uh, Lewandowski got me a Bayern Munich one. Uh, JT got me a signed Chelsea one with a captain armband. Okay. And then them two to add on, yeah. Class. So I might have to take a Get few that down. In the snooker yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah That's your collection, that. So are you saying that Kylian Mbappe's got a signed Matty Cash shirt hanging up in his game? Nah, he probably used it to clean the car or something. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you give him your shirt though, yeah? Yeah, I'll give him yeah, mine. Yeah, it's yeah. polite, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't not. Yeah, can't, can't not, not yeah. yeah. Also, you'd have nothing to wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then going on to um, playing Kylian Mbappe, like, what's the game plan when you face it against the, the calibre of uh, Kylian Yeah, we, w we watch videos, obviously, a, a few days leading up to the France game. Watch videos of him and he was... Lightning. I think the game where he came on against, he didn't start a game and because they qualified already, I think, and he come on and he ripped it up. And we watched the end of that, and it was like wow. <laughs> and then in the the day of the game, I just sat in my room and watched clips of him, um, the sort of how am I going to stop him really? 
and we had a good battle I think we had a really good like, it was a mm. good challenge for me I think we had like 1v1 I think there was a f few times he sort of got around me and then a few where I won it off him we had a few one-on-one -on -one races as well um, he's not that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> he's is, like, is that what it is with him is, is, it, is like it the him. pace like you know yeah. if he's, obviously he's obviously he's a fantastic footballer with a yeah, brilliant yeah. eye for goal and so many attributes yeah. but if it's one thing from your perspective pace. is it the pace yeah, yeah. His, his pace is never like I said before Sterling's rapid when I played against Sterling he, he can run but he is Mbappe is another level yeah, really? yeah he mm. just shoots off the go and you can't actually do anything yeah, yeah mm. nothing and what did the gaffer say to you? What was his like plan to plan um, attack? I think he, he wanted me to back off him and I didn't okay. want to do that. Give him the space. Honest. Yeah, yeah. He, he wanted me to back off him. Um, but I thought if I get tight then there's less chance of him sort of running at me. Mm. So the first like couple, I got tight and it was fine. And then there was a few where he gains, gains a yard and you can, can't do anything about it. Um, but I, I wanted to go tight, yeah. I sort of, yeah, that was it. Mbappe or Messi, who was a harder challenge? Well, Messi was the other side of the pitch, so I'd say Mbappe, yeah. I think Messi's quality is, is, speaks for itself. His way to pass, the way he controls the ball is obviously, I, I don't need to sit here and explain Messi. <laughs> but I think for me, Mbappe was the hardest test, yeah. Would you say that Lionel Messi is the GOAT? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think it's difficult, isn't it? Because like them two, him and Ronaldo, have done it at the top for years and years, 15, 20, well, however many years they've done it. So it's hard to sort of single out one. I think they're both... Um, they're both goats, yeah. both of them. And who's the toughest player you faced at the World Cup? Just generally, was it one of those two, Mbappe? Or Mbappe, Messi? yeah, yeah, Is Mbappe, yeah, toughest yeah. by far, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I'd say he's he's the toughest, yeah. And international football, tournament football like that, compared to your everyday challenges at Aston Villa, is yeah. there a huge difference playing in playing style? Do you find it very different? playing international tournament football compared to Premier League football. Yeah, it's different, obviously, because you've got different managers, different players, so different styles, like, of course, there's different styles. Um, and I think international football is a little bit more, I wouldn't say slower, but it's a little bit more, um, it's not tactical, it's hard to say. It's just a little, it's, it's obviously top because every every player that's playing is the best in the country. That's why they're playing for the country. So they're all top players. It's, it's different, yeah, it's different. Premier League's like really fast and like energetic and do you know what I mean? Quick players everywhere and like, you know what I mean? So I'm not saying there's not that in international, it's just a little bit different. Mm. And you talked about Emi Martinez earlier. Um, what's he been like coming back from obviously winning the World Cup? Is he, is he different now? Has he got, you know, a little bit? Nah, nah, he's been is brilliant. He been, yeah, yeah, he's been class, yeah. Um, Emmy's a character like he's, he's <laughs> we saw a, in the celebrations yeah, I think, he's yeah. such a character he's yeah. like that in training is he? Yeah, yeah yeah he's the same yeah like if you miss and you're in, if you're on his side you're buzzing but if you're on the other <laughs> side and you lose and he saves he's laughing at you and, we'll give you really? some yeah like only like joking yeah, that, of course. but he's he's amazing yeah he's such a good goalie but it, since he's been back he's been brilliant yeah. so I know he's all about mind games isn't he yeah so yeah if he's doing that in training yeah he does it in training imagine. Yeah, does it in training and he doesn't even like when people say it's taking it he's not doing it to be personal mm. like he does it in training to us boys so I think it's just his way of trying trying to win yeah. I think yeah and it's like, amazing what he achieved there it's really like the mm. way that he the way that he contributed to that, to yeah. that victory he, he changed the way that I spoke about penalties without me even realising it yeah. you know usually when a player steps up to take a penalty I'll always go do you think he'll score yeah yeah when Emi Martin is in goal I'll go do you think yeah. he'll save it yeah, yeah. Like, I kind of look <laughs> nah, at it completely yeah. differently yeah and like I see it every day like when we do penalties quite a lot mm. and he, he obviously don't save everyone but he's like he's a big goal isn't he mm. yeah and in the World Cup, he's, he's obviously proved it. Yeah. And has he bought his medal in? Has he let you have a Yeah, look? he bought his medal in, yeah. yeah. His first day, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course he, um, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come back and just obviously we congratulated him and he yeah. showed us it and that, yeah. Fair play. Because I, I, I don't know if you saw it, but McAllister obviously got that big yeah, I've seen it, yeah, celebration. Yeah. Was it the same it for amazing. him? It was amazing. No, he had a, yeah, he had a good welcome, yeah. 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 It wasn't like what I seen at Brighton. That yeah. was brilliant, to be fair. Um, but now nah, all the lads and that wished him like said well done and yeah. obviously the coach and staff as well and yeah we've obviously I think we had a game a few days later when he come back so we were just focused on that but yeah, yeah he's been definitely great. one of the best goalkeepers in the world at the moment yeah yeah for sure I'd say he is probably yeah I think he is and he? he's just won the World Cup basically not won a bit but he's obviously done major major impact on them winning the World Cup I think he's he's up there with the best in the world yeah People go, oh, you're hard done by that. We didn't win enough games, right? Mm. Fact. 
the eight games that remaining were arguably the best run of games yeah. on paper. So that was the only bit I couldn't get. I was like, well, that's the best run, and you're taking us out two days before the best run. Well, well, if you got a lap dance, you'd have to spin again, so it's mm -hmm. your fine, to get the number of someone you do the lap dance oh, on. Wow. Oh, genius. 